Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 4th, 2022. Well, my goodness, those bulls finally showed up to work yesterday, and they really pushed pretty hard, bringing us back up toward price resistance levels, though they really didn't change anything in the overall chart condition of the indexes. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Now clearly those bulls made a nice move yesterday from that oversold condition. I've been talking about that. We've been overdue for, for um, a relief rally. Now the question is can they follow through and continue to the upside? Well, oh my goodness, are the bulls all wound up this morning here. They're pushing hard for the upside. We're looking at a huge gap up open. But I want to remind everyone to be just a little bit careful about chasing into this because this will be um, such a big upside gap. The possibility of a pop and drop is, um, well, relatively high. First off, let's notice here that we're still downtrending in our index charts. So we haven't changed our downtrend yet. And this gap up this morning will be up here testing some price resistance levels in the chart. This is honestly exactly what I want to see to pick up some additional short trades. So I'm watching this close because so far we haven't had any indication that the Fed is willing to pivot and our economic numbers yesterday were not bullish for the market. So just kind of keeping in mind that we still have a lot of challenges ahead. It's easy to get very excited. We haven't seen the bullish market for a long time, but if you chase into this, I want to give you an idea just how much risk there is. If you were to jump into this and then think, where am I going to place my stop loss on this trade? Well, if you look carefully, there really isn't a whole lot of places to place that stop loss until we're all the way back down here. That is a massive risk of um, more than a thousand points in the Dow to the downside. So imagine just an intraday whipsaw. The whipsaw is half of that. I'm not talking about going all the way down, but what if we just pull back into here in a whipsaw? You can get yourself chopped to pieces in a chart like this. So be careful thinking that the all clear has been sounded. Remember, one day does not make a trend. We've got to break this downtrend. We've got to hold some higher lows and we've got to prove that we can actually break through some resistance levels and hold. This is usually the, the playground of the institutions. And remember, they can be very, very violent. We want to be um, careful as retail traders participating um, a whole lot down in here because of the big potential moves that can be created. Now, let's take a look at our um, um, uh, SPY. The SPY, very much the same. Big pop up here today um, in the gap up. And big um, big reversal here on the day and certainly we're all excited about that. We've needed this move. But what I want to point out is if we continue to rally like this um, and pump right up here, we're bouncing right into a major level of price resistance and yet still in a downtrend in the chart. So we'll have to see if we've got enough energy to push through that. We've got some data coming today that could cause some turmoil in this. So we'll want to watch that closely. Clearly our, our moving averages and things like that remain significantly bearish here in the chart, as you can see, significantly bearish. And we've got a lot of work here to prove that we can actually move through. So once again, be a little bit careful about racing in. You know, we had a lot of folks got hurt really badly on this day, thinking and just assuming that the bottom had to be in and they jumped in. And I want to remind you of that old saying out there, you know, fool me once, 
shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. So be careful with that same emotional urge to just hurry up and buy something um, just in case we whip to the other side. Remember, we still have tremendous uncertainties out there in the market to deal with, um, you know, let alone North Korea firing a missile over Japan um, last night. Um, you know, holy cow, um, we still have a lot of geopolitical things out there um, that um, make for significant uncertainties um, on the um, the move ahead, as well as an FOMC that has yet to show any signs. In fact, they continue statement after statement after statement. They're going to stay on this path. So we still haven't seen any signs of them capitulating. Now let's take a look at our QQQ. QQQ also big bounce up here this morning. We're pushing up hard here with a big gap up, trying to get some things going here. And as you can see, we're going to bounce right into a significant level of price resistance in the chart. And um, obviously our downtrend has not changed yet. This is just a relief of the oversold condition. If we can prove to break through these levels and hold the higher low, that's where I want to be long. One of the major mistakes that I've made in my trading career, and it took me a long time to break this habit, is that is the chase into price resistance in the chart and buying directly at price resistance, the exact place where we could expect a reversal to occur. So kind of keep that in mind. And believe me, that is a punishing lesson that it took me a long time to learn. And then if we take a look at IWM, IWM also surging to the upside. Now, IWM has been the strongest of the indexes. Um, keep in mind, we still haven't fixed the downtrend here in the chart. And oh my goodness, we have some big resistance levels here in this chart that we're going to have to deal with. And by the way, that translates all the way over. Um, there's resistance levels in these index charts that we'll have to be paying attention to. So watch that closely. Certainly, it's wonderful to see the relief. It, we wanted to see that. We've needed to see that. But that does not necessarily mean the all clear has been sounded and it's time to just rush in to the market in case we get the big whipsaw back down. Now let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX had a nice day yesterday pulling back, but I want you to notice that we didn't really fix anything yet in that chart that the trend up is still here in the VIX. And although we're gapping big this morning, I would suspect that we could break this trend or come down in here and test this level of support. Um, we we'll want to watch for that possibility on such a big move in here that we could reject that resistance in the indexes and bounce right off of this area here um, from this um, big relief that we're catching right now. So watch that closely. Again, the all clear has not been sounded here. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at our T2122, boy, it made a big move yesterday. To the upside and that's exactly what i've wanted to see it took a lot longer than i expected to actually come about but we made a big move up here and with this gap up this morning we could easily be nearing the overbought condition already in the market and that's one of the things that happen when we get over exuberant you can see that right in here popped up about midway and then we shot up here and then bang completely reversed so watch for that possibility i'm not saying that's going to occur but watch for that possibility what i'm really trying to tell everyone is to be careful with that emotion oh my gosh i'm missing out that fear of missing out costs a lot of people a lot of money so watch that close think carefully about how you trade this trade and watch for that potential whip back to the downside if we cannot push through those resistance levels so if we bounce right up here into that bearish um, bearish area of the chart watch carefully for that possibility of the pullback um, maybe occurring and those bears re-engaging I do not expect bears to give the bears to give up all that easily considering the economic conditions that we see around the world let's take a look at our t2108 t2108 there is some hope in this chart in t2108 
because what we ended up doing, notice right in here, we ended up holding this support area in the chart and pushed up yesterday. We have about 18, 19% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. But I also want to point out the significant levels of price resistance that we have in this chart that we're going to have to get through. So what this means is a lot of stocks are going to be pushing up back up toward that 50 day moving average resistance levels in their charts. And we know that that often serves as a strong level of price resistance. So just keep that in mind. And our T2107 also had a nice little move yesterday. Um, a nice little relief and um, even more good news in here because we've held those higher lows. We held this low and we're pushing up towards some significant resistance levels in the chart. And remember, these are still downtrending here in the short term. So we've still got a lot of work to prove whether or not we can push on through. Keeping in mind 21% of the stocks, that's a nice improvement holding above that 200 day but I would watch that very, very closely for those resistance levels in the chart to make sure we don't get a rejection there. And then if we take a look at our T2101, T2101 continued in this pullback in T2101, showing that momentum, that little bit of momentum is holding up here for an upside relief. So watch that close. And Unfortunately, we're so excited here this morning, we may, we may um, finish our upside relief all in one shot um, if resistance rejects and if those bears come back in. So just watch that carefully um, and just also realize we, we're kind of pushed up here quite a ways um, in that move. We needed this pullback. We needed that relief um, in the market to occur. So it's about time. Um, we've been waiting quite a while for it. Now just don't let the bull punish you by rushing in right at the high point of the move. And then if we take a look at our um, economic calendar today, here's a couple things that we have to be thinking about um, that could move us quite a bit. Remember last time we got the job openings report, the job openings report came in hotter than expected. And we've seen those numbers, those employment numbers being very, very sticky. We're not getting what the Fed wants to see as that is that pullback um, in those jobs numbers. Now, perhaps it pulls back here and we do have a consensus suggesting a small pullback, but I don't think it's going to be enough to really make the Fed happy. Um, if this number comes in hotter than expected, we could see the market be very bearish on that on that number. So watch that close. And then we also have those factory orders. And we know from our ISM number yesterday that manufacturing is in decline. We're, we're holding, well, we're, we're holding about dead even, kind of at stall speed in our manufacturing. Um, so watch that close. And remember our construction spending came in far under expectations yesterday. So watch that. We also have a parade of Fed speakers today. It'll be interesting to see if somebody starts, somebody in here starts to capitulate, somebody starts to say, uh, we've got to back off because so far they haven't been saying that. They've been saying we're going to stick with our plan here to fight inflation. And what I will also say, if they do capitulate and back off, watch for those inflation numbers to go right back up and watch for the pain to fight that inflation to get even stronger. So remember, be careful what you wish for in here because we still have a long ways to go to combat inflation. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings calendar, we have a um, few companies to report today. Um, but not exactly major notable companies out there. Um, AYI, big company um, reporting today, but um, keep an eye on this. Not, it's not something everybody, everybody is not gonna run out and remember this brand all that well, but um, certainly a nice bullish move going on. Now I can't tell you if that's the earnings report 
or if that is just the bullishness of the market pushing us up this morning. But we will want to take note that overall this is still in a downtrend. So keep an eye on AYI. We're going to hear from NG. Now there was a big change yesterday in commodities. Um, NG, gold, really perking up here. Um, once again, um, nice bullish move, not exactly notable, but we'll want to pay attention to that big old downtrend there. Um, see whether or not we're going to be able to push through and hold. Remember, buying at price resistance is not the wisest of moves in um, a chart. We're also going to hear from SAR. SAR will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. And we're going to hear from SGH. Okay, so yesterday, what really happened here? What was the impetus to get us moving so big um, in the charts? Well, first off, I've been talking about this for a while. If you take a look at the US dollar, the changes over in Britain allowed the US dollar to relieve some of that pressure. So we're seeing that dollar pull back here in the chart. And we also saw bond yields pulling back just a little bit. And that relieves some of the pressure here in the market. And I think that was the big reason for the upside move. Now, there's a problem with this as well. As the US dollar declines, and we're seeing some declines here this morning in the US dollar, what we'll likely see is we'll likely see food prices and commodity prices moving back up. We had a big move yesterday in gold we had a massive move in silver to the upside. So keep in mind when those things occur, commodity prices and of course energy surged strongly yesterday and continuing to surge up this morning. Now, why is that important? Well, remember energy is a really big factor to our inflation. If the dollar weakens and we see energy prices surge right back up, in fact, there's folks saying, um, if OPEC cuts um, production tomorrow, as they are expected to do, then we could see energy prices going right back to um, $100 a barrel just really quick if that dollar falls. So keep in mind, that just fans the flame of inflation. Watch that closely if that occurs. It's kind of a double-edged sword here. We've got problems to deal with. So keep an eye on those currencies as they continue to fluctuate around. It could be it could be the thing that we want to see happen, but again, as I said, be careful what you wish for because it might actually make things worse. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at some um, stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click the bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click those thumbs up buttons and leave those brief comments that helps the channel to continue to grow. And once again, I want to say thanks for, to everyone one, we went over 29,000 subscribers. I'm hoping I can, we can make 30,000 by the end of the year. We'll see. Um, with your help, I'm sure it can be done. So if you continue to support the channel that way, I truly, truly appreciate it. And thank you so much for everyone who does do that. Let's take a look at these stocks that could be setting up for today. But remember, guys, these are not these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to be very, very careful, very dil diligent on um, watching this price action in the market because these are big price action moves that are occurring and the whipsaws can be very, very painful. A couple charts that I want to bring up. Take a look at MUX here. Um, MUX, kind of an interesting chart. This is what we call a rounded bottom breakout. A rounded bottom breakout is when a stock has been very sold off. I mean, really sold off and then finally builds this basing pattern here in the chart and is able to push up through that 50-day moving average now pushing up through that 50-day moving average is the first part we don't want to chase this first part of the move we want to wait for that resting pullback and a hold above the 50-day and watch for that opportunity now this is a little tiny guy and i get 
I get accused sometimes of, man, you never show any uh, lower price stocks. Well, here you go. Here's a lower price stock in a rounded bottom breakout pattern. And if that holds this higher low, then look for that upside move here in the chart. Um, these are very productive patterns and very profitable patterns. So watch for that to potentially develop. Other charts, I'm, I'm afraid I've got a lot of uncertainty in them. If we take a look at a stock like Microsoft. Now, Microsoft has received some upgrades here recently saying, oh, it's got huge upside potential to weather, weather a recession very, very well. But let's keep in mind, guys, that we've got a lot of resistance in this chart here on Microsoft um, that we're about to run into. So I would be looking at charts like this for the potential short. If we rally up in here, look for bear call credit spreads or directional trades short to the downside because resistance typically does its job. Um, so watch that carefully. And we're going to see that probably in a lot of these techs um, as they rally up. Now we can extend some of these rallies pretty strongly, but if we run into some major resistance areas um, in these charts, look for that next opportunity to short because we've got a long ways to go before we kind of clear some of these downtrends and some of these economic conditions out there in the market. I will tell you this, that yesterday I started looking for bearish trades in the indexes and I ended up waiting because I um, thought there might be a chance of a gap up open and I'll be looking for bearish trades here on the, on the index charts um, for that opportunity to take advantage of a pullback after this big rally. Now, I'm not suggesting that a pullback is going to take us all the way back to the lows, but a pullback that just comes back into here can be a very profitable trade. Um, and remember, we rarely see uh, a market condition where we um, come down like this and then we zoom straight back up in a V pattern. Typically it's more like this over here. We get that big popping rally and then we pull back and if we get a higher low or a double bottom that is a more common pattern. So once again be very careful about chasing in to this today. Let's be patient. Let's wait for a good quality pattern to set up with a lot lower risk if you want to be long. Short pattern setups could be very, very productive as we push into those resistance levels of the chart. So watch those closely. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Be very, very careful here this morning with this big gap up. Could be pretty wild in the price action um, of the day. Big point moves. So protect your capital. And I'll see you right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning. Wish you all the best. Thank <laughs> you.